Hello, booktube. I want to make sure I've brought my book in here I'm supposed to do a review on. Sorry, I'm a little tired as per usual. Cheers, my friends. Okay. I'll be reviewing Bows and Arrows of the Native Americans. A step-by-step -step guide to wooden bows, the new back bows, composite bows, strings, arrows, and quivers by Jim Hamm, who also wrote the Boyer's Bible. Uh, this thing's pretty comprehensive for, uh, for you know, such a short book page-wise. Uh, whole lot of info crammed into these uh, 154 pages. Uh, let me read some of the stuff off here. Bows, a brief lesson in bow physics. Uh, I know a lot of y'all don't care about this, but I do. <laughs> Self bows. Uh, tillering, finishing, sinew back bows, how to prepare the stave, you gotta use glue, sinew, composite bows, decoration, how to uh, make your bow strings, <coughs> arrows, regional styles, obviously every tribe had different styles of actually bows and arrows depending on where they lived at because Obviously, geography, the game available to hunt, the material available to make the bow, make the arrow, um, that all plays, you know, it's pretty important as far as uh, what your finished product is going to be. Um, I'm currently working on a hickory bow. I'm not quite sure how it's going to turn out. Um, and as you may have noticed, uh, got into flint napping. I'm still a noob. Uh, I've got a lot of refining to do. Uh, that's Georgetown shirt. I just plunked out kind of a spearhead there. Uh, this is heat treated Keokuk. Um, honestly, I'm not sure where that comes from. That was the best arrowhead I could make out of that. Again, still working on it. This is mahogany obsidian. That was as close as I could get to making a spear point out of that stuff. Again, Georgetown Church. And some obsidian, which you can actually see through this. And of course, the majority of these are igneous rocks. But anyway, I'm getting off the subject. Uh, I do have a bow that a friend of mine gave me. I wish I'd have made this thing. It's a beauty. And you're probably asking yourself, well, what's this have to do with the book? Well, it has everything to do with the book. Because everyone that's ever made a self bow, well, not everyone, but I would say the majority of folks in the last 30, 40 years probably had to read a book on it or it was passed down through tradition. Let me see if I can string this thing. Come on. This is a maple longbow. I barely have room for it in this little junk room. It's backed with Moso bamboo. It was made by a gentleman that lives about, well, his house is probably about 20 miles from here, down the creek. That's the kind of directions we go by around here. They live up the creek or down the creek? Well, he lives down the creek, about 20 miles. Uh, deerskin handle. This is made for a lefty. I'm a ready, but I can shoot off the knuckle. 
and uh, I might have mentioned this before. <laughs> I'm a pretty good archer, so uh, make sure I don't wipe out the camera. That's about a 45, 50 pound draw there. And my draw length is 24 inches to 26. I don't know what kind of bow I'm shooting. But if you want to get into self bows or you're just curious about the history and the bows and arrows that some of the tribes made, uh, you might want to check this out. Four and a half stars quite easily. Everybody stay cool. I would say stay savage, but uh, that's that's my occupation there. So uh, check you folks out later. Hope you enjoy this video. Give it one finger up, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.